So there's a story that I love, a true story of a school teacher in Ohio, um, a high school teacher, and one day when the class was really rowdy, um, her math class, she stopped the study. No one was going to learn math. And she put the 31 names of all the students in the class on the blackboard, and she said, for the rest of the period, write these names down, and then put next to the names one good thing that you admire or like about this person. And then she collected all those papers. And then, you know, some months later, maybe before Easter vacation, when the class was really not focused, she stopped the class again, and she passed out the papers. She would cut them apart and pasted on a page with each person's name at the top um, the different comments of good things that had been uh, written about them by the other 30 students. Uh, a couple of years later, she got a call from a woman who said, you know, Robert, who was in your class, I know he was one of your favorite students. My son was in the military, and he was just killed in the Middle East. Very sad, and if you want to come, here's the memorial. So she went, and toward the end of the memorial, they were standing at graveside, and the mother said, I have to talk to you. She said, my son only carried a few things on the battlefield with him, and this is one. And she pulled out that page, and it had obviously been folded and unfolded many times of the 31 good things that people had seen about him. And then the woman standing next to them, the young woman who'd been a student, said, oh yeah, um, I always carry mine too, and pulled it out of her purse. And then another young man on the other side said, oh, I made it part of my wedding vows. There is something so remarkable about seeing what is called in the um, mystical tradition the secret beauty of another being, to see in their eyes the, you know, the spirit that was born into them, and to see that their goodness that has a very powerful transformative effect. 